Hey, how's it going? Adrian Elise here. I just wanted to pop in and talk to you about what's going on in the stars and the planets. Um, basically, on the 25th, tomorrow, uh, Mercury comes up with its conjunction with Neptune in Pisces. So we've got still Venus in Pisces, Mercury in Pisces, the Sun in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces, Chiron in Pisces. <laughs> so we've got a lot of planets in Pisces. Now, all this Pisces energy, especially with Mercury coming up with this conjunction with Neptune, it's a very oversensitive time. Pisces has a, just a huge emotional sensitivity and sensing a lot of things. And it's easy to take things personally. It's also a quiet time. Energy's low. And um, it's important to kind of put our energy where 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 it's going to work best for us right now. It's kind of confusing because Neptune is kind of this out there, like connection to source, but also kind of confusion around our psychic energy. And with Mercury is our day-to-day -day conceptual reality. And so these planets together are kind of making things really confusing. It's not a time to really understand so much around the outer world, but a great time to go within and meditate and be present with yourself. The other energy that's going on is that Venus as is in Pisces and it's in an exact square with, um, with Mer Mars in Sagittarius, the warrior. And so our warrior planet is like wanting the truth, wanting to seek beyond the veil. Venus represents our self-worth. And so we're in this like really, the Venus in Pisces is like a self inner evaluation of our self-worth and kind of these insecurity feelings coming up and oversensitive and kind of feeling maybe attacked or victimized by the world. And so there's tension here because Mars is in a square with Venus is making us want to kind of fight for our value system, but actually it's showing us where we're not about, you know, fighting for what's important to us in the world and fighting for our needs and fighting for um, people to respect us. But it's actually like um, showing us where we're not valuing ourselves, and showing us where, so these insecurities coming up are showing us where we can strengthen ourselves within. And so Pisces has an energy of wanting to escape everyday reality and Mercury and Neptune together. Mercury is our everyday reality and Neptune is this watery, dreamy connection to the bigger whole, to spirituality, but also kind of fantasy delusion, what's real, what's not. And so these planets coming together is um, actually a really great time to be flexible and rework our reality, go within, like escape into your own world, not through TV and media and alcohol or drugs or whatever, like use this escape into your own creative time, like create your own little bubble. Don't worry about the outside world right now. It's kind of like that, whatever's going on, wherever you go out there in the world right now, it just, people are feeling like, that just personally attacked. And, um, and so those feelings again are showing us where we can reevaluate and fight for our self worth for have these changes within and taking that time to meditate, taking that time to connect with a greater source, just kind of like, don't worry too much about your conceptual reality right now, because things are really just confusing. And, um, with all of these planets in Pisces is a mutable sign and Sagittarius is a mutable sign. So that square is like, it, mutable is is right is the signs that happen at the change of the seasons and so the mutable signs are kind of oh just um you know adjust there's adjustments opportunities here you know it's not too much about um holding fast to a belief system or getting you know but the mars but venus and mars kind of can bring this energy of wanting to fight for what you believe in but actually it's kind of like a great time to take that battle within and fight for our self-worth and um, take the time we need to self-nurture. It's a, it's just kind of a, a low energy time, but also a time to connect with source, to be creative, to feel like you're a part of nature, to feel like you're a part of a greater world, a greater whole. There, there's this connection to oneness. And so that's where it's really great to put your energy right now, not on the outer battles of life, but let that be an inner battle for your right to be a citizen of a greater universe that's loved and cared for and has connection. And we can really access that by taking some time to be creative and uh, tuning in, turning on and turning off our devices and getting really creative and um, 
using this kind of quieter time uh, to not get so confused in our conceptual reality and not get so into those insecure feelings, but go and be within so that we can build that greater self-worth and uh, kind of claim our worth, what matters to us in our inner world, not go out there and fight about it with other people and let that make us feel um, you know, the world is really polarized right now. And the whole point of that is to make us feel invalidated and um, more stuck in our beliefs and this mutable energy and Mercury and Neptune com coming together is just like, let all that shit go. Let all that shit go and go into your own world and create, you know, use a connection to source and creative energy and meditation and um, spirituality and art and music and let that energy give you um, boost your self-worth. Take that fight within to be with yourself. And the fight is kind of like taking the time, you know, from our busy reality, from our day to day and all of our devices and technology and, and, and just, and, you know, you can do this in just five minutes though. You know, a lot of us are like, well, I have to, I just don't have time to meditate, you know, but if you can take five minutes here and there, it can make a huge difference. And also just give yourself this bigger time to go get creative and go within and affirm yourself with worth as a, uh, a member of the one consciousness by tapping into that creative energy of the universe and feel that you have control over your own reality when you're in that creative space you know it's not like input 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 it's like you get to be a part of the creative process and that can change the whole energy in your life by using this Pisces energy for that rather than get caught up in this really strange battle that's going on in the outside world around uh, our value system, what really matters, and um, nar narratives clashing against each other to keep us divided and hating each other. And um, so this is kind of the energy with Mercury or Mars and Venus in a square. There's an energy of like, this is really important to me and I have to stand up for my values and I have to hate the other person that feels differently. And it's like, you know, just we, we, this everywhere we feel insecure about who we are and our values has to do with our own self-worth and our own inner values. And so this is like a great time to take that battle within of like all these places where you might feel attacked and insecure in life and be like, you know, in this world right here where I am with God and oneness, creator, source, whatever you want to call it in my creative space, like I reign supreme and I'm valued and I'm loved and I'm, you know, worth it. <laughs> and so this is um, an opportunity we have right now and these energies just don't get caught up too much up in your conceptual reality because Mercury conjunct Neptune is um, just mental confusion. So a great time to meditate and be creative. So I hope you enjoy your time. I look forward to uh, the full moon activation. This is happening on Wednesday, the information to sign up below. This is a powerful full moon where we have Mercury and Venus still together coming up with a conjunction with Chiron and squaring Mars and trining ne uh, Jupiter, who was at its ret tomorrow or the next day, Jupiter is approaching that retrograde degree. So we're really feeling that Jupiter slowing down in the sign of the shadow, and we're having the opportunity to just really uh, hold tight and go into the muck, go within, and um, you know. So this is a great time to use this creative energy to go within and go underneath the shadows and underneath those delusions within our being and find that deeper connection to what really matters to us and to um, and to the whole, to the one that we are a part of, that made us, that we are made from, we were that before we were in this body. So it's a part of us, it's who we are, and we have access to this beautiful spiritual energy. We've just been told that we don't. So anyway, that's the energy of this time. And the live activation for the full moon is a really great way to use our collective energy to find that connection. It's a Virgo full moon and with all these Pisces energy. So the theme is to dream a new dream. We go within, create our reality the way we want and use our collective energy to send that prayer out into the universe that we are all one. And that is the truth underneath all this division and war and hate and violence. It's just not the truth of who we are, humanity. And Virgo wants to clean that up. So it should be a great, powerful activation. I hope you can join. And that's Wednesday, 28th, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So 
I look forward to seeing you there. If you can't make the live, you can come and get the replay anytime. It's immediately available. And if you have an intention to join, you've signed up, then your energy, your questions are gonna get answered and your energy needs are gonna get addressed in this live activation. So thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I have a great weekend. I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.